welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a selection of practice questions and answers on oxidation states. If you need help with the topic of oxidation states then a more detailed video is linked below. So first of all the rules for calculating oxidation states of transition metals or other elements are that the oxidation number for all elements is zero. So for example, the oxidation number of a sodium atom would be zero. The oxidation number of monatomic ions, for example, an oxide ion, is the same as the charge. The sum of all oxidation numbers should be zero, or if it's a polyatomic ion, such as nitrate, then it should add up to the charge of the ion. And during oxidation, the oxidation state of the element will increase and during reduction, it will decrease. So let's have a look at a worked example before we get into some questions. So here we are to find the oxidation state of iron. So we're going to do this in an algebraic form. So the charge overall for iron oxide here is zero. And that is made up of the charge of both of the iron uh, ions plus the oxidation of state of all of the oxygen. So we are trying to find the oxidation state of iron. And we know the oxidation state of oxygen as oxygen is a two minus ion. So if we now rearrange this, then we will have the two iron ions equal to six plus, which means that one iron must have an oxidation state of three plus. Now we can do the same for sulfur within the sulfate ion. So this time we have an overall charge of two minus. We have one sulfur and four oxygen. We know the oxidation number of the oxygens as we take that to be what their charge would be. So that's going to be four times negative two. So if we rearrange this, then we have sulfur equal to six plus. Find the oxidation state of the elements highlighted in blue on the screen. Pause the video now. So for the first example we have no overall charge and we have two sulfurs and three oxygens, each oxygen being minus two. This means if we rearrange this, the two sulfurs will be plus six, so one sulfur will be plus three. For phosphorus and oxygen, we have no charge overall. We have two phosphorus, and five oxygen each two minus. So if we rearrange this, the two phosphorus will be oxidation number plus 10. So one phosphorus is plus five. In this next example, we have three atoms, overall charge of zero. K has a value of plus one. We are trying to find the oxidation state of chlorine and we have three oxygens. So 
So if we rearrange this, then the oxidation number for chlorine in this example is plus 5. And in the final example, we have hydrogen peroxide, overall charge of 0. We have 2 times plus 1 for hydrogen. And we're trying to find the oxidation state of the oxygen. So if we rearrange this, then the two oxygens will be minus two. So one oxygen has the oxidation state of negative one. Here we have slightly more complex ions to have a look at. So we'll try and find the oxidation state of the element in blue. Pause the video now. So the first example here we have is the permanganate ion. So this has a negative one overall charge. We're trying to find the oxidation number for the manganese and we have four oxygens. So if we rearrange this, then we find that our manganese has an oxidation number of plus seven. So here in the carbonate ion, we have an overall charge of negative two. We're trying to find the oxidation number of the carbon. And we have three oxygens, each minus two. So if we rearrange this, in this case, the carbon has an oxidation number of plus four. So in sodium dichromate, we have an overall charge of zero. We have two times one for sodium. So each sodium ion is one. We are trying to find the oxidation state of each of the chromiums and we have seven oxygens. Okay, so if we rearrange this, then the two chromiums will be equal to plus 12, so one chromium will be plus 6. And in the final example, we have aluminium sulfate, so zero overall charge. We have two aluminiums, each plus 3. We have three sulfurs because of the three on the outside of the bracket and we have 12 oxygens. So if we rearrange this, we have the three sulfurs equal to plus 18, so one sulfur will be plus 6. In our final examples here, you are finding the oxidation state of carbon in each case. So in the first example, we have no overall charge, we're trying to find the oxidation state of carbon and we have the oxidation state of oxygen being negative two. So carbon must be plus two. In carbon dioxide, with this time we have two oxygens, meaning that the oxidation number for carbon is plus four. Here we have methanol, so overall zero. Got two times one for the hydrogen. We're trying to find the carbon and we have minus two for the oxygen. So overall the carbon has an oxidation number of zero. If we reduce that to methanol, 
then we have an overall charge there of zero. We're trying to find the carbon. We have a total of four hydrogens and we have our minus two for the oxygen. So if we rearrange this, then carbon in this case has an oxidation number of minus two. So going from methanol to methanol, we are reducing and the oxidation number is also reducing. If we go from methanol to methanol, we are oxidizing and the oxidation number is increasing. In our final example, we have methane. So we have carbon plus four times one. So overall carbon has an oxidation number of minus four. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.